the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign update for Sunday, September 26th, 2021. So again, this may jump around a little bit. I'm reading it directly from my notes. Uh, Back to incentives. So it's pretty clear to me that right and wrong are no longer a factor in society, and all it comes down to is incentives, and that means cash, and that's it. So when it comes to enforcing of laws like the Wire Act from 1961, uh, it's really going to come down to whether or not there's more incentive to enforce it versus to not enforce it. Uh, Because if they did enforce it, there would be no online gambling sites in the United States right now on one simple basis. Even if you want to argue about whether or not the advertising crosses state lines, I absolutely 100% guarantee you that the money does. And the Wire Act prohibits the transmission of money to fund bets across state lines. So unless people are taking bags of cash to the uh, local counter because you can't move the money across state lines, meaning you can't have a, a bank outside of the state, which I guarantee you is the case. How are you funding your wagers with DraftKings and others? I guarantee you your bank is not located in the same state as the server on which you are placing the bets. So they're just pretending like this law doesn't exist, which is really pathetic. Um, but it's going to come down to incentives and whether or not There is more incentive to destroy these things or to preserve them. So we'll see how that turns out. But right, wrong, law, no law, it's all horse hockey at this point. Um, So the uh, NRHL, um, being the idiots uh, that they are, apparently uh, didn't make it rather than Uh, engaging us legitimately. They played games, uh, and now they're gone. Didn't have to be like that. Um, We could have um, proceeded with the fundraise. It would have been good for them. It would have been good for us. But instead, they chose to um, basically jerk us along, and and so now they're dead. So that's that. Uh, The Texas abortion thing is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I told several people very early on that Roe v. Wade is going to be tossed out. That's very clearly, uh, that marches that direction. Uh, there is an interesting aspect to the, um, the, the abortion law in Texas. Essentially, you have to, uh, well, the way it's worded is that uh, somebody can sue, an individual can sue, they get standing uh, I, I'm not totally clear on on how this applies, but it's kind of interesting to me that as it stands right now, until the move to California is complete, uh, we are a Texas nonprofit, and I'm wondering if there's some way that we can get standing to uh, to sue to stop the gambling march. You know, sort of using the same argumentation that's being used in abortion. So this is still preliminary, uh, but I know that if we were able to put together a case and with our skills in public relations, I could definitely get uh, coverage of this. Uh, You know, if we tie abortion to gambling, uh, that's going to be a press hit. I can see that for sure. So I'm just wondering if uh, the way we do democracy now is that if if uh, the one particular party or individual loses a, a race, we're going to call fraud and have 25 audits. Is that how we're going to do, do government now? Uh, some people need to get in touch with the truth here and the facts and stop playing games and acting like little spoiled brats. It's really pretty pathetic. Uh, I don't know how many times you guys want to lose the same election. Um, 2020 is over. The courts have ruled more than 60 times, I think 65 times. And now how many audits is this in Arizona? I mean, really, get a grip, man. You folks are acting like a bunch of uh, kindergartners. Uh, You lost, okay? Now, are you going to destroy the entire system because you're not happy with the outcome? Grow up. That's very childish and dangerous for our democracy. So... It looks like the way the stock market game works now, and I don't know if it's always been this way, is that you uh, have a stock picker who goes out and hop, hypes stocks, and then you hype the stock picker. <laughs> I'm thinking of Kathy Wood and specifically. Uh, I don't know how that's legal. So you have a stock picker that picks stocks, and then you have a media that's complicit and hypes the stock picker. <laughs> wow. Okay. SEC. Um, 
what the hell? Seriously. All right. So the uh, reward system is still just a couple of clarifications on the market. The reward system, Sportsfolio Rewards, is still active uh, on the on there and accumulating. You can go into the app uh, and see the various rewards, which will increase your learning market um, balance if you achieve various goals. That is still there. Um, there is a iOS app which 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 runs both the uh, pilot market and the learning market, and then there's a web app uh, which is uh, covers only the learning market. If you look in the resource links on the ASM notice board, you'll see the links for these things. Shorting is um, activated for the learning market, but not the pilot market. So that's another thing to know if you want to test out shorting. And then college football and basketball. Uh, are only on the learning side of the market, and there's no game dividend payments at this time. It's a really complex um, setup to get all this right with the data feeds and so forth. So it's been disabled, and it's going to remain disabled for a while. It does still pay on the quarter, uh, but it doesn't pay game dividends for college. And again, college is only on the learning market side. Um, The market cap reached a record on September 8th, a total market cap of 46.1 billion it's actually about 46.6 now uh so that's uh, it's high it's the highest it's ever been and it's it's continuing to go higher uh and we don't have any active programs so you you those of you who like to say that it's because we're flooding the market with bonus margin that's actually not true um also people um if, if i look at the statistics the balances go up and down it's not that uh, when somebody gets bonus margin, they just go crazy and reckless. It, it actually is not the case, and there are many studies that show that that's also not the case um, when it comes to, to this kind of system. In other words, they do treat it like real money, so if you just think that they go crazy with it, it's not the case. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe gambling was always the reason that there was so much public interest in sports. I, it always confused me as to why... Uh, the public would get so riled up about um, grown people, you know, playing what is a game. Um, I'm I'm not sure where the truth of this lies because a lot of people hide that activity in their lives. But I think it's a far bigger factor than than is um, publicly acknowledged, and that's why people are so passionate. I mean, why would you throw your shoe at a television when your team loses or what? I never could quite grasp that. However, if you've got uh, double or nothing, you know, the crack pipe of gambling attached to your passion, then I can see how you get very upset if you just lost the rent money because uh, so-and-so didn't do what he was supposed to do or what you thought he was supposed to do and get the touchdown or whatever it is. Um, One of the first things that was mentioned when uh, several years ago when we were talking about uh, adding on to the Hero Club presentation a... Uh, aspect to ga- uh, sports gambling, you know, the dangers of it. Uh, one of the directors of, of that club said to me that the uh, dangers to the athletes was was primary. There was going to be an, a, va- a big increase in threats to athletes as gambling expands. And you will now see that those stories are starting to hit the wires. That's happening. Uh, it's only going to get worse if this is... Uh, Continue. This scourge has continued to to allow to grow, and the 1961 Wire Act is ignored. Frankly, throw the whole code of law in the trash if you're not gonna um, you're not gonna acknowledge a 61 year old super precedent uh, and pretend like that doesn't exist. And just go ahead and set all the courthouses on fire and forget about it because uh, it's all just a big lie. Okay, you're not lying. You're not fooling me. And uh, I anybody who looks at this closely is going to see the same thing. So, hypocrites, hypocrites, hypocrites. Um, Siri will play this podcast if you if you uh, say play the Sports Vote Campaign podcast, and you can even identify them by episode numbers or by the title. Uh, Gavin Newsom won, uh, beat back the recall effort, which was a huge waste of time. It was not even close. Not even close. Uh, Macau is in trouble with. Um, China regarding gambling issues, and I'll get into that a little further. To be clear, China, as I am uh, and as we are and as Alper is firmly against gambling, China, mainland China, it's, um, it's, it's against law. You know, it's a bright red line. 
Um, so complaining like gambling is for losers. Uh, complaining, complaining and complainers are nothing but losers. Get up and do something. Take action. Complaining is for losers. Um, I would like to point out that if it wasn't uh, for Bernie's efforts in the, especially the Costa Rican period, and uh, Zach's efforts in the California period, we wouldn't have ASM online, we wouldn't have survived, and we wouldn't still be here to talk about it. Um, those are two different roles and two different periods of time, but it would be unfair for me to to, to uh, take away any credit in either case. Uh, without any doubt, Bernie's main effort uh, was in the Costa Rican period, not so much in the California period, and then uh, that's the sports side, and then the entertainment side being Zach in L.A., and, and definitely we wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for both of their efforts. So I have to acknowledge that. It would be very dishonest not to. It seems that some folks can't decide whether they want us to succeed or fail. Uh, I, I don't understand this behavior. Um, you know, impatience, greed, all these things. Um, I saw it the first time in 2008, and I saw it again uh, in the... 2019 in the fall when we were stabbed in the back by the SEC with the help of a few people that are eventually going to be outed because everything always comes out. Um, you know, make up your mind. I mean, do you want this to succeed or do you want this to, to fail? I mean, pick a side and stay on it and stop with the impatience, okay? I've said this for a very long time that this, look in the marketplace and find another sports stock market. Do you see one? No, you don't. It's not for lack of trying. There have been substantial efforts and at least $50 million spent trying to steal this idea, and they all failed. So get a clue. This is much more like the tablet uh, market. If you look at the tablet market, I was in the computer business in the early 1990s, and I watched failure after failure after failure. It wasn't until Apple came along with the iPad that it was a success. And that's a long timeline. And we're dealing with the same thing. We're dealing with the same thing. It's 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 a very difficult task and that's why nobody else has managed to pull it off even when they had vastly more resources than we t did. There are three names that come to mind. Look them up for yourself. Fantex One Season and pro trade, okay? All three of those are, are in the dustbin of history, and they had all the connections, and they had all the money in the world, and they still blew it, okay? So we're here. We're still here. We created this concept about 20 years ago, and we're still working it day by day to get it uh, to, to its maturation, okay? So uh, impatience will get you nowhere, and if you stab me and the company in the back, it's eventually going to come to light, and you're going to be held accountable for it, Okay? There is no such thing as a secret. All secrets are revealed. Everything that's in the darkness comes to the light. It's just a matter of time. So get a clue. Grow up. Um, there was a, um, yeah, so the impatient stuff, it's just really, it's ridiculous, okay? This this is not guaranteed. It was never guaranteed. And, and those of you who aggressively make it worse, who claim to have stake in this, you're acting against your own interests. So I don't I don't get that. I mean, it seems human beings learn absolutely nothing. That's my conclusion. Absolutely learn nothing. Thank goodness I'm not God, because I would have thrown this project out a long time ago. When I mean project, I mean humanity. I, I would have thrown this in the, in the dustbin long, long ago. It seems that, that, that human beings just don't seem to learn anything. I mean, we knew gambling was wrong. That's why 60-something years ago we passed the Wire Act, Okay. That's why that happened, okay? What what it's the short memory span is just it's mind-blowing. I mean, there is no case in history where gambling has done good things for a culture. That's why China is so opposed to it, by the way. They know from history what happens to your society when you promote this stuff, okay? Just like the opium dens, okay? They they know what happens. They're they're an older wiser society than we are. That's the truth. We're a bunch of brats, a bunch of impatient brats. That's what this culture is. Okay, so the uh, there was a $110 million SEC whistleblower big settlement. Um, this program is corrupt beyond all words. You cannot incentivize people to do the government's job like this and, and leave it to a bunch of corrupt lawyers and compromised judges. I mean, are you serious? I mean, the, the, you know, this is the, we're, at the end of the day, this is what's going to come out in our case is that somebody thought they were going to get a payday. OK, 
That's what they thought. Or a, a bigger payday, a sooner payday, or a bigger, sooner payday. That's, that's the bottom line, which isn't going to happen. <laughs> what they actually did is they put the whole project in jeopardy for everybody else, for 950 other people. That's what they really did. So if you don't think a day of reckoning is not coming for that, I got news for you. It will. I guarantee you it's coming. So we have a rural infrastructure problem. Um, I have no doubt about that, especially as it relates to the Internet and, and even on, in other things like power. Um, there needs to be a, a, a push to, to make sure that every address has low-cost, high-speed Internet if we really want to close the middle-class gap. Uh, once again, um, DraftKings is hyping another uh, merger, which makes no sense whatsoever. They don't have the valuation to do this, trying to take over a big, big Euro, European um, or a British holding company. And the market is is hating this. Um, you know, it's going to create even more red ink than they have now. Um, like I said in the last report, they have about a um, dollar a share projected loss. It's going to be worse than that. I think by about fifteen to twenty percent. I'm going to say at this point, depending on whether they um, pull the trigger on this thing. But uh, I, maybe this is some desperate move to try to buy off the competition. But it, it, the market doesn't like it. The stock dropped precipitously as a result of this. And once again, this is about losing money even faster by overpaying. They are uh, in competition with MGM with a pre-standing clause and another attempt by them it, um, to buy. So basically, they can't do this deal without approval from the uh, competitor, which I doubt they're going to get it. Um, it's just reckless and stupid. Uh, but, you know, gambling is reckless and stupid. Uh, and they look like their uh, their approach to business is about the same as as a gambler's approach. There's a lot of recklessness in what they're doing here. They're just a bunch of reckless reprobates. Frankly, you know, if you uh, you know you sell drugs, uh, which is what they're doing, uh, you're just as bad as uh, I, I mean. If you are responsible for for facilitating the sale of a poisonous product, you are responsible. So. Anybody who promotes gambling is is a reprobate. Um, I think it's time for some antitrust examinations in this sector. Um, these deals are uh, creating monopolies is not good for the public, um, especially creating a, a monopoly of toxic waste and poison. Um, so the uh, Arizona audit, yeah, that um, that's that's really funny. So you, how many times has has this election been audited in Arizona? How many? How many times is that? Um, this was the gonna gonna be the one, and all it did was find more jo uh, votes for Biden. That's pretty funny. Okay, um, so Matthew twelve thirty six, uh, you're gonna be responsible for every idle word. So just continue this handful of aggressive jerks continue to lie, continue to propagate lies, continue to do that under the cover of darkness. You won't show your face. You won't identify yourself. Okay, that shows the cockroaches that you are. But let me tell you something. The light's coming on. Um, if you were so sure of yourself, and I already proved this with the video, uh, offered to do a video face-to-face. -face. Notice how none of those people would show their face. There's nothing more to say, okay? There's nothing. You won't face me. You won't face me face-to-face. -face. Why not? Why not, right? If your claims are true, what's the problem? Yeah, Cowards. Lying, exaggerating, distorting cowards. You will be responsible for your words. You're not going to hide behind a fake pseudonym. That's not going to work. Uh, you will be held accountable. And I won't have to do a thing. It's going to happen to you. And pride before a fall, Proverbs 16, 18. So keep it up. Um, I'm aware of the Raiders um, move from Oakland as well as the Washington football team in some places like the ticker it still shows up as Redskins. Um, these are coding things in the, in, in the, uh, it's not as simple as just a, a few seconds to change this. It's some of this has to do with trade histories and such. So we can't do anything about this, uh, right now it's in the programming queue. Uh, the things that we have changed, we've changed. Uh, so it's not going to affect trading or anything like that. It's just cosmetic. And the Kraken ISO has been uh, delayed. Uh, it'll be closer to the start of the season, and we'll have an announcement here very shortly on when that day is that the um, the Kraken ISO will be put out. And then finally, 
in a uh, very good move, China has decided to declare all crypto transactions illegal. Remember what I said about how uh, uh, there was a claim that you couldn't stop crypto and I said all you have to do is say that the trans any crypto transaction is illegal and that's it and that's all there is to it. Um, you don't have to name them. You don't have to deal with those details. You just say, look, if you do a crypto transaction, you're breaking the law. That's what China did. And I say bravo because uh, this is trash that's clogging up the financial system and robbing the common man and making the wealth gap worse. So thank you for your time and attention. I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.